Welcome to my video presentation. I'm Dr. Kibet from the Center for Open Distance and E-Learning Machakos University. In this video, I want us to discuss about how to write smart learning objectives. At the end of this uh, lesson, you should be in a position to explain about the smart learning objectives and its characteristics. SMART is an acronym often associated with productive goal setting in general. Learning objectives are essentially goals that trainers or instructors expect learners to be able to demonstrate after a lesson or a unit. Thus, objectives are often set before specific activities are developed. Smart learning objectives refer to the intended learning outcomes that follow a certain structure. SMART is an acronym that actually stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time power. So in the following section, I want us to look at the characteristics of SMART learning objectives. So there are five features that characterize a SMART objective and their purpose is to shape a solid framework that helps you establish and meet realistic goals. It's good for learning objectives to be SMART. And the letters that we've just stated stands for the following. So in this section I want us to look at the characteristics of this smart learning objective one at a time. Specific. That actually means that the objective should be clear about what, where, when, and how the situation will be changed. Use clear, direct language to tell the learner exactly what he or she should learn and what he or she should be able to do after the training. So you are encouraged as a teacher not to be fake, unclear, or misleading. Number two, measurable. The objective should be able to quantify the targets and benefits. The point of setting a learning objective is to determine if the learner can meet, perform, or satisfy it. And you can only do that if the objective is something that can be, that can measure. That actually means first that it must be an action that you can observe. This is where the common mistake of using words like no or understand, which are not actions that can be objectively observed in learning objectives is corrected. Some few examples that can be used are, by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to explain, to state, to list, among many other verbs that are used. Number three, achievable. The objective should be able to attain the objective. Your learning objective must be something. Your learners have a chance of completing or satisfying. They must have enough pre-existing knowledge, time, and similar resources. For example, you wouldn't create a learning objective that has an elementary school or a primary school child to construct a rocket in one hour that is not achievable number four relevant the objective should be able to obtain the level of change reflected in the objective so the objective should be something the learner sees the value in learning 
Don't teach materials that that is not important and won't be used at all, even after the learners have left uh, the course. Remember that your training should matter to your learners. And finally, time pound. The objective should stay time period in which they, sh they will be able to be accomplished. Make sure that your learning objective is something your learner will have to use in a timely version. Like for example, we normally state an objective like by the end of the lesson or by the end of a unit or even tomorrow or next week instead of a whole year. So an objective should be time pound. So those are the characteristics of learning objectives. If you like my video, kindly subscribe. You can like or even share with a friend. Thank you.